out by a Christian boy and it does not lead to a fight. We in Guyana are blessed. But I ask of you, my brothers and sisters of the human race, to share this blessing. Be it in a kind word or a prayer for those who are not as blessed as us. That one day, they too will be able to return to their homes as we in Guyana live in this country, in our own homes. We consider ourselves Guyanese. We live in this country. This country is ours. So too, the men and women and the children of all countries would like to go home to their homeland. So I ask of you, my brothers and sisters, pray that they too will share in the blessings of our creator. I thank you. I leave you in peace. Firstly, I must say, I am happy to be in this huge gathering here today once again to celebrate the birth of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Also, he was he, he passed away on this very day also. And I will do a Nazam or Kassida, as you say, with the music. And I hope I get Get right to everybody so they can enjoy it. Thanks very much. Mustafa
This year, Rothstein events are organized in over 100 cities throughout the world. It is a very simple concept. Offer Rose as a peaceful gesture to people and at the same time convey the true meaning of Islam. This can be viewed as an extension of Dawah giving the message of Islam, the celebration of the Maulid or upholding the honor of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam by presenting the beauty of his teachings and overall the positive message of true Islam and Muslims. Islam and Muslims are not represented by extremist Muslims and non-Muslims, nor should they be given such a platform by the mainstream media. Islam is of the balance middle way and always has been and we need to reclaim this position. These Muslim events seek to further isolate extremists of all kinds and to promote peace the worldwide event this last year saw participation of over 69 cities throughout the world. Ghana's event over the last two years were hailed amongst the best across the world, with a wide, wide cross-section of Guyanese, Guyanese, including politicians, leaders of other religious groups, members of civil society, representatives of the print and electronic media, participating in the event, allowing them to experience firsthand the warm kindness and compassion which we have learned from the noble character of the blessed prophet muhammad sallallahu the objective again is to engage with our local community by promoting peaceful dialogue and spreading peace and understanding we are the we are of the belief that our great country of ghana can be an example to other countries on how to integrate strengthen ties and live together as one community. Forty years ago, if a Muslim scholar had stood to make a presentation, he would have been delivering a totally different speech then. What has changed so drastically in not only Islam, but in our world of religions, to have changed a presentation on a same subject from four decades ago to today. The Quran, the Bible, and the Gita have not changed. The laws of Islam, Christianity, and Hinduism have not changed. These major religions have not yet, these major religions have changed so much from 40 years ago. But in reality, what has changed is our interpretation of these laws and scriptures. The significance of these great events and festivals has significantly change in all of our religions, despite not a single change to the laws and scriptures of our religions. It is unfortunate that the change in the interpretation of our scriptures, especially in Islam, has not resulted in a better Islam. And it will be a love for all Muslims if the interpretation of the Quran and Islamic law can return us to 40 years ago, when an interpretation was always considerate of the human family. Today, the same words of the Quran which were, which were interpreted 40 years ago to extend brotherhood to our fellow human beings and other faith. Those same words today are interpreted to allow us to destroy those same members of our human, human family. Islam has not changed, rather our interpretation of Islam has changed. The world in which we live faces us with much difficult choices. Our guidance comes comes from our willingness to turn towards God and to find peace within ourselves. Then, and only then, will we feel content in our choices. Our global society could and should be an example of coexistence and cooperation, of mutual benefit and human concern. Muslims need to create an inner environment of peace and faith of tranquility, not violence and security. Then we can hope to find solidarity and to create cooperation by supporting one another, standing by one another in what is good and right and needed for success, growth, and sustainability. We are to let everyone know the true basis of Islam, its real values, its true properties, its way of life based on pluralism, democratic principles, faith, and mutual respect. Islam abhors and condemns violence and aggression 
espouses peace and security and safety for all people, regardless of nationality or religion, or gender or race. This is a time for us to think of two words, sacrifice and struggle, both of which have great outcomes of successes, both of which make our lives meaningful, both of which are needed to ensure peace, tolerance, compassion, generosity towards others, etc. Reclaim their rightful place in our society. As we look, as we look in our world today, we must look at the, the enormous values Islam has brought to this human family over time, and not to judge the actions of a few misguided ones to be seen as the real Islam. We face the challenges of living in a globalized world where there is greater alienation and distance between classes of individuals based on economics and education. We must work hand in hand with people of other faith who have, sorry, the people who have faith in the essential goodness of humankind. My dear brothers and sisters, that is the basis of our program today. It is my pleasure to invite now for brief messages and we'll start with the representative of the Indian High Commission, Mr. Chatterjee, to say a few words immediately after which I will invite Pastor Ronald Magara and then we'll ask Pandit Tilak to come to the podium and make their contributions and then we'll ask our brother Shaheed to return to the podium for our procedures and we'll take a few more messages out. Assalamu alaikum. First of all, already established, Master Sermi, Brother Hakim, especially invited guest. It's indeed for me a pleasure to be here in this mansion once again as the members and the leaders continue to work towards promoting a culture of peace and harmony in our daily beloved country. I think we are indeed blessed, a beautiful country, as I heard, as we heard earlier on, from Mr. Lord. It is our duty to continue to work to strengthen the culture of peace in Guyana. I would like to ask each and every one of us here, that we must make a determination that we will leave this country better than how we found it. So I'm asking you to put your best effort to the molding this society that all our people, regardless of race, culture, religion, denomination, or whatever, can work consistently towards building a nation that consequently all of us can be very proud of. So today as we celebrate the birthday of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, I pray that we will all be inspired to do our part, fulfill our portion of responsibility, whatever is our mission that God has given us in this life, that we will give our best effort so that we can acquire the kind of results so that our children and our children's children could live in a most wonderful environment. So this is how I feel the other thing. What are we bequeathing to our descendants? Let us give them the best possible heritage. All that we have learned and acquired, let us pass it on and bring all the kind of results we could all be May Allah bless each and every one of us, my brothers and sisters, and the suffering part of celebration in the letter and the spirit of all the things we have to us over to the regions of peace. Namaskar, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, as we have all the leisure comfort of our homes to be here today, to join with the Anakatra and the Islamic complex in celebrating this wonderful occasion. As we celebrate the birth and the life of the Prophet, the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I hope I got that right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, brothers and sisters. So, yeah. 
However, today, brothers and sisters, earlier, the good pastor and myself, we were all at an interview function, including Marlon Mangata. And it is so nice when we can come together. You know, there's a principle in addition and subtraction that a part is equal to the sum of its whole, or the whole is the, the sum of its part. Meaning that you and I may differ one from the other. And we're unique in our own way. However, when we come together, we are part of that great puzzle. And we're very important. And the role that we play in making that puzzle up, in becoming the whole, is quite important. And when